Okay, um, hi there, Digibrony. I, um, name's Raindrops. This is take two on the video, because as you pointed out, the first one didn't have sound. I have no idea why it does that. My computer just likes to dip a lot, and it likes to occasionally not use the audio file. So now, right now, I'm using my live streaming equipment, because I know that works. So, anyways, I was watching your video... And I could actually pull it up if I wanted to because I'm using screen share, but I don't really care. Blah, I really should just so I can get rid of streamception. Um, anyways, well, that's loading. I, um, you mentioned that, uh, obviously Gilded is an unpopular character and whatever. And yes, whatever. I was mainly, I had a comment about that that I actually like Gilda. I always seem to. Ever since I saw her in the episode, I first saw the episode last February, uh, she's secured a place in my top 10 ever since, and for strange reasons, a lot of people look at her and see just a bully, which is kind of what the episode was about, but I, um, having been the subject of bullying most of my life, have learned to analyze them a little bit, just a, a little bit. And so I saw something in her that I took pity on. And I think she's a very developed character, actually. Um, it, she's very confused and has no self-esteem, possibly because she might have been abused as a child, or perhaps she had an older sibling or whatever, and she or a, a father figure or whatever, who was just on a pedestal and left her in a shadow that she felt she had to live up to, and she utterly failed at it and was torn because of that. Either way, she's in a very painful place. She's in turmoil and confused, as are most adolescents of today. I mean, really, look around. Uh, you know this as well as I do. So she is very inauthentic because she has no self-esteem, so she has to try, in order to feel good about herself at all, she has to not only put others down, but try to lift herself up. And so that's where that inauthenticity comes from. So, and obviously this is why, uh, any time, but she, and so she sees Rainbow Dash as cool. This is what I see. She, I see her look at Rainbow Dash and she respects her. She sees her as an upstanding and really cool and awesome member of society. And she clings to that because they were childhood friends. And she, Rainbow Dash might even be the only friend she has, which is really sad. And so what I have here is that because of that, anytime Pinky tries to move in and hang out with Rainbow Dash, yes, she views it as an attack on their friendship. She feels that Pinky's stealing away Rainbow Dash, stealing away her attention, which she craves a lot. Um, uh, I would, this, this one's a bit of a stretch, but I would almost venture that if she feels that if she seems uncool, Rainbow Dash might leave her, which happened at the end, and it's possibly what she thought, but Rainbow Dash left her for a different reason, and I'll get to that in a few minute in a minute, and so what ends up happening is Gilda and Pinky don't hit it off, as you stated. I won't go into details on that. But then you get to the point that no one learned anything. And I actually disagree. I think that both Rainbow Dash and Gilda learned something after the episode ended. Not during the episode, obviously. All we learned is that, yeah, if you're inauthentic, you come across as a douche and people don't like you. And, yeah, this makes sense because that is kind of the way it is. And Gilda actually had to have figured this out afterward. If you watch the scene where Rainbow Dash stands up for her friends, because she has to. She's the element of loyalty. It's her most treasured trait. Not because she is loyal, but it's her treasured trait, which is going to make her become loyal. The same way, like, she has her ambitions. Her most prominent trait is not loyalty. Her most prominent trait is her narcissism, I would venture to guess. And uh, I'm probably not completely correct in that, but anyways, completely different argument. So, her mo most valued trait is her loyalty. She has to remain loyal to her friends. And so when Gilda was attacking her, she became frustrated with Gilda. It was like, yeah. And eventually, she had to... Well, at first, she was oblivious. She really thought they would just hang out. And once she realized 
oh, she's not getting along with my friend, she's being mean to him. She had to stick up for her friends. And she, she the way she said it, too, she said, this isn't the way I thought my old friends would treat my new friends. And then I I actually, I want to look up the, I should have prepared this in advance, the, the next line, uh, if that's the way you're going to act, maybe you should just leave or whatever. Trying to get her to clean up her act. She didn't want her to leave. It was painful for her. I'm sure you saw this as well as I did. Uh, it was very painful for her to watch Gilda walk away, but she had to because she wanted to remain loyal. But I wish that she had, like, gone after her at some point. Like, she had to stick up for her friends because she was loyal to them. She wanted to remain loyal. But I wish she had gone after Gilda. And then second, Gilda. Um... Gilda, I really wish, I I think, I'm pretty darn sure, sorry, I'm tripping over myself, I really believe she learned something as well. Um, I think as soon as she got off screen, she went to the nearest cloud, she curled up, and she cried her eyes out for the next hour. Uh, I really think I did. Uh, I really, really think I did. Sorry, stumbling over myself. This is why this video is mostly a reaction video meant for you because my thoughts are uh, uh, rambling at this point. I cannot think about two things at once. I'm just going to stop what I'm doing there. Anyways, uh, so it was very painful for Gilda to leave because she had to stand there for a moment and realize, dude, like, she just, the, her whole life she's been putting everyone down trying to lift herself up. It's really the only thing she knows how to do. So she had to, when RD, when Rainbow Dash forced her to choose, um, which really, uh, Rainbow Dash told her off, is actually what she was doing. She didn't force her to choose anything. Uh, Gilda put that on herself. But when Rainbow Dash told her off, she just didn't know what to do. Rainbow Dash isn't supporting me. Oh, crap. I have no friends. And she panicked and did the only thing she knows how to do to feel better about herself. She insulted our D Rainbow Dash. It's like, well, you're just a flip-flop, you know? I mean, it, it was difficult for her to say. She didn't actually have a comeback because she didn't want to do it. I mean, first of all, it's possible she actually didn't have a comeback, but second of all, she didn't want to do it. It was just the only thing she knew to do. And then she had to leave. And you could almost see the emotion flying off her face as she as she stormed out of there. And I really think that she was just distraught, completely distraught, and just bawled her eyes out. Uh, and I felt so bad for her. Um, because I've been there, you know? And so, I really just, I think that she must have gone off, cried, and then after a while realized, oh crap, you know, if I, if I could have just been a little more secure, like, Rainbow Dash was just trying to get me to stop being a douche, she could have, she had to have realized this eventually, and it, it, if not then, at least by now, uh, and that... Rainbow Dash really did want to be friends with her. She had to, I really, I mean, I hope she had the capacity to realize that. I would like it if she had the capacity to realize that, but I sort of have to deal with the fact that it's possible she didn't. Um, but it's very possible she did, uh, and was just too ashamed to come back, uh, having made that exit. So that's what I think the lesson really was. It was more for Rainbow Dash and Gilda than anyone else, but it wasn't something you could really put in the letter almost. And so, and it was almost, I noticed, almost parallel to what they tried to do with Keep Calm and Flutter On, where Fluttershy showed Discord what friendship can look like, and then said, no, I'm not your friend, because you're not cleaning up your act. And then Discord was like, oh, crap. I liked having a friend. I better clean up my act. I, I think Gilda might have realized the same thing. Oh, crap. I've just lost a friend. I should clean up my act so this doesn't happen. I think it was the same thing. Um, so this video is probably 10 minutes long at this point. That was pretty much everything I had to say. Uh, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this now without having looked.